Hello, I'm Edu from edu for java and this is the Android tutorial number 8. We are going to see, uh, we are going to store data in SQL leader, S SQL leader. Uh, okay, we are going to uh, work with the Android tutorial 4 that we were working in the past uh, tutorials. Let's run the application in order to remember uh, what this application do. Okay, we have first a form with title, author and ISVN. In title we can put World Wide Web, author Edu, yes, as always, and this ISVN. Here we have the second activity that receives the message and we can see insertion exitosa del libro and World Wide Web, Edu and the number. Here there is a new, I put new lines, you can see here, a new line, you know, just to improve this. Okay, if you remember, this was a form that uh, send uh, some data, book title, book author and ISBN to the result that is this class uh, in our create we get the, the the data from the intent and then we print the message here but we we do nothing with the data we don't do not store the data but we are going to store the data now in sqlittle okay this is a class that i have already prepared it's database helper that extend s little open helper there is a class that is going to help us to handle the problematic uh, about on create and upgrade a uh, SQLittle database okay as we talk about uh, SQLittle is a simple database that uh, work with a file this file if we have no this file created automatically uh, SQLittle create a new database with this name that we put here database name uh, SQLittle Open Helper uh, is going to create a new database with this name um, in order to create this uh, this helper need uh, to know what uh, what they have to create in onCreate method uh, we put we can put the sentence, the, the, all the SQL we need to create the tables, indexes, maybe some initial data that we want for our database library, DV. Um, in this case, I only need uh, the table books. Then it's easy for me. I just put here the create statement for the table and uh, I define an ID int integer mm, really this is a standard uh, for SQL Open Helper as primary key auto increment and here I put three fields, text fields that are mine, title, author and ISBN. Okay. On upgrade method is for if when you change your version, the database version, in the constructor here you indicate one as a version of the database and this is going to be stored in in the DV file, in the database file uh, and when you change the version for sure you need to change the database the on, cre on upgrade method is called uh, is called when you change the version from 1 to 2 like here and uh, is going to execute this code 
what do you need for this code? We are going to drop the 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 we are going to log uh, the the fact that we are creating the database. We are going to drop the table books if exist, and we are going to call on create database again in order to create a new database with the you know with the changes that we get from one version to other, another version. Now we have database helper ready. We are going to result uh, action activity, and we are going to try to save the data to in the database. We are going to call a, a method insert book uh, and send the book title, the book author, and the book ISBN in order to save this data in the database. We put this just before uh, the result text set text that show the, the text. Okay, here I paste insert book. The the I make the imports with Control Shift O, and the insert book method have received as a parameter the title, the author, and the ISBN. And then I create a database helper, a new database helper, uh, sending this as a parameter, this is the context, you know, always the context. And uh, I get the database calling get readable database. I can uh, choose readable database too, but in this case I want to write then I get this, yes, I make insert. Uh, the, with the DV, I make an insert and I say in the table books as a first parameter. Then I put uh, the column that I'm going to receive null if there is a, a problem trying to insert. And I'm going, the third parameter is a, a content value. This is like a this is a hash map where we are going to put um, the the keys are going to be the name of the columns, and the value is going to be uh, the the value we want to store in this field. For example, in title here, I'm, go uh, I'm going to store the title parameter. There's, there isn't the title parameter. This database uh, helper title is a constant that we define with the names of the fields uh, in, the, in the table. You know, the columns on the table, these are the, the names. Then as you can see here, the names. Here I have to remark that this database name is really important because SQLittl Open Helper is going to use this constant to create the actual, the real, the actual file. Then this name is going to be the name that the, the, the file uh, is going to get. Okay, let's go here. Uh, this is the name of the column, this is the value. This is the name of the author column, value, and with the SVN, the same. We uh, create the content values, that is the hash map, and we use this to send the data in the db.insert. When we finish, we close, and that's all. Let's run it in order to see if everything is working. Okay. Okay, here we have the application. The title is World Wide Web. The author is, as always, Edu. And the ISBN is any number. I send it, and here we finish with the message. Let's see if we have the database created. This is an Android perspective that we can find here, DDMS, and in this per perspective there is a view, uh, no, uh, we can find the view here, 
uh, file explorer and inside data we go and check data and inside we are going to see edu edu for java android tutorial 4 and this is our library it's just created here inside the database folder uh, okay we can check here library db is the name we put and if we go to a command line and uh, let's go to the place where we install the SDK we are going to get into tools and try to get into the Linux executing ADV shell now we are in the Linux console and we are going to try to get into the SQ little that we just create is in data data edu edu for Java Android tutorial 4 inside the database and the name is library DV as you can see here now we press enter and we are inside SQ little shell then we can put here select uh, from books and we get here is the the data that we just put in the form as you can see and if we repeat the process and put uh, tcp another book that is the author is ellie and just another number we uh, press add and we check again the database and we can see there are another record here with elif okay we learn how to store data in sq little uh, not in the best way because uh, the use of a content provider is, is uh, better but we are going to see content provider in another tutorial okay see you